Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC. That's the Everyday City Carry. And today, not podcasting. I always say that in, in the intro now. I don't know why. Got an unboxing, and I know this is a cool one. So let's get to it, to the dual view. And boom, we are back. All right, so... We got an unboxing from the Apex Pass Around Group. I gotta do this real quick before I go to work. Gonna use the MBK Monterey Bay Knives Sprocket. Din, din, din. Right? Um, yeah, let's open it up. There's no tape on this one, so I think. Oh, there is tape right here. There is tape. Whoa. I'm gonna pry the rest of the way. Yeah, what is in here? It's a wee knife. It is a wee knife. <laughs> and what do we do with this? That's what we do with it. Let's just put the uh, sprockets down here. So check this out right here, man. This is a wee knife. Which wee knife is it? It's the, I looked up the pronunciation for this, and I think the cool way to say it is the Ekati, all right? It's like a Greek goddess of, of magic and wizardry or something like that. This is the gray TI handle stone wash finish with the CPM 20 CV blade, which I am not an expert of, but let's open it up right now. I think I'm the first person to receive this, so you got an EDCC exclusive right here. Let's place that right there because I want to be centered. Yeah, alrighty, we got the Centros. Ah, cool. Let's put these stickers on too. You know what? Let's just do the sticks, bro. Let's put the stickers down there. These stickers are pretty cool. We and FCVV ones. And uh, you got your usual books and stuff. We Knife Company, anything specific. Introductions before use, do not cut yourself. Not just playing, it doesn't say that. It just says every knife we make will be extremely sharp, so you have to take precautions. No shit. <laughs> you got the uh, famous silica gel and also the We Knife uh, wiping cloth. That is a big knife. It's a big knife, isn't it? Let's take a look at this. Wow. Been a while since I had a Wii on here. First things first, you've got a little glass breaker on the, on the bottom there. You've got Ekati on the back spacer. A really cool, I don't know what this is called. Is this like molded or something? Uh, the pocket clip is very uniform with the pattern on the handle scales. And you've got this little bump here. This looks very like dinosaur-esque almost, but I want to say like could also be like in a sci-fi game like Halo. You know what I mean? Check that outside profile. Very cool. Nice tension in the pocket clip. Feels really, really awesome. Got a nice coating on that. That's how we does it. All right, pretty easy. Let's open it up though. This is Lodge. I mean, let's just compare this to uh, only way to go is up, right, my dudes? Look at that. With the other knives I have right now. So these are sort of medium knives. The uh, Protec, the MBK Sprocket. Look how much longer. The Ekati is pretty crazy. Let's uh, put these away for a sec. But check that out, man. Uh, really nice action. A little bit stiff on the disengage there. That's just how I felt right now. Pretty slim in this section here. That is where I'm having a problem. I think, um, I know this, the designer that did this, I think this is like one of their first collaborations with her. I do believe this is a she, I didn't look it up. Ooh, very nice like uh, maker's mark there. Let me take a look at that. It's like three dragons or serpents or something. Very, very cool. I like it. Uh, very interesting flipper tab too. Check that out. It kind of uniform with this guy. The two shapes there match. This is large, dude. What? I mean, look at that compared to my hand. And I, have, I do have small fish paw hands. Keep that in mind. 
Let's see the drop shot. Of course it's gonna drop shot. It's huge. The Akati. You know what we're gonna do though? We are gonna cut some stuff. Because that's what we do here at EDCC when we unbox things. And we have this very uh, nice paper here. Look at that. That's very interesting. Certainly interesting. Definitely like a... Wow, this is so, so huge. As expected from Wii. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful, man. That is just so easy to do. Oh, let's do one of those curly fry things. Yep, you can do that. Let's go slow on it. Yeah, this is really sharp. Yep. But what do we do with this, though? What do we do with this, though? Uh, one more quick look at the uh, Ekati. I think the, the H is silent on that. Um, yeah, I like it. The detent is... I think it's pretty good for it. It's kind of hard for me to judge these larger knives. I did want to check this one out because it is a special one. Uh, I saw it on Knife News. I believe we read about this on the podcast, the Kati, and uh, I think it was a lady that designed this, their first collaborator. I could be totally wrong though. I could be totally wrong, but I'm going to flash that on screen. This would be a novelty for me, the ramp works. That's what I just noticed right now. Got some pretty decent ergos on this. I mean, it is a large knife, so it's kind of hard to... Let's see if this thing is useful. It is. Could do some fine work with it. Interesting. Kind of like a geometric... Yet, you know, like kind of sci-fi design here. Pretty cool, man. Nice action. The only uh, problem I have with it so far is the disengaging of this lock. It's, it's a little tight right now. But rockets out. You know, you could do the push button. Oh, push button is way better. Because, like, that thing is flat. That flipper right there. Look at that. Wow. Light switching is, like, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, too. Interesting knife. Interesting knife. Can you spidey flick it? Oh, <laughs> it's hard. No, can't. Come on. Yes. You can, but it's not meant for that. Very cool knife, though. Um, I'm glad to have checked this out. I'm probably going to talk about it more in the podcast. Let's look at the uh, glass breaker a little bit. Hmm. It's not, like, too sharp, which I like. I don't like ones that are too sharp, yo, because, like, if you're digging in... You know, this is this is what I, why I don't like glass breakers because when you're pulling out of the pocket, you might like stab yourself if it's especially when they're too sharp. I don't like that. This one's kind of like okay. Let me uh, test the pocket real quick. Pretty uh, pretty smooth coming out of the pocket with a pocket clip. Not a deep carry clip, but matches well with the design. And uh, we will talk more about this on the podcast. This is your boy in the NYC. Let's point the knives up, dude. That's what we do here. Sup, bro. Sup with that. Sup with that, man. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC. Saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.